Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing $468. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. This is a combination of my part-time job paycheck and my Etsy paycheck. So my part-time job was $111. This is the first paycheck where it's actually like, you know, working only once a week because the other paychecks I've kind of like, my professors would cancel class or whatever and I'd be able to go to work and I had some trainings and stuff so like I've kind of been like okay with my paychecks this is the first one where it's like really low and it will continue like this until obviously uh the semester's over so yeah that's why it's like so small now and so I am going to still be combining my Etsy paycheck because I'm using that to obviously like pay my bills so thank you if you've ever purchased anything from my Etsy shop it really does help me out so I appreciate all of your guys' support and even on YouTube also with my YouTube paychecks I do plan on paying my bills now so let's go ahead and do my wallet so the only envelope in here getting stuffed is groceries so normally I budget $250 for two weeks, but we already went shopping and I used my debit card, so I just pulled the rest out in cash. So I have $161 left. Um, a 10 and a 1. So this should be $161. So I have $50, $70, $90, $110, $130, $150, $161. $160, $160. So we have a lot of like meat in the freezer and things we can just use so that's why we only spent like 89 dollars at the grocery store so with my 250 dollars budget the goal is to spend 125 a week sometimes we go over that and we only spent 89 so that's good so that is all for my wallet my coffee money is obviously staying in there so I am filming this like a week before you're actually seeing it. So we are super close to 10,000 subscribers. Obviously, since I'm filming this video right now, like I don't know what my subscriber count will be like in a week, but we are so close to 10K. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean so much to me. Rent is getting 100. So normally I stuff 195. But I just could not this time. So thankfully Logan was able to stuff more. So rent has one, two, three, four, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety. Five ninety in rent, which is the first half. Um, we are going to go to utilities, which is going to get forty-two. So twenty, forty, one, two. So now utilities has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 85 in utilities. So this is our first half of our payment. And that is it for this binder. This video is probably going to be super short because I don't have many uh, binders to stuff. Because since this paycheck has my Etsy income combined. I do have to put a lot of it in taxes. So yeah. All right. Inventory is getting $10. I wish I could put more in here. I'm going to try to see if I can kind of, I don't know. It's just supplies are expensive. So maybe like from my YouTube paycheck, I'll have to put some more in here, but I don't need anything yet. So we'll see. I'm going to go to Canva Pro, and that's going to be getting five. I have an extra five dollars. I don't know where that's supposed to go. Why does this always... <laughs> I'll figure it out. All right, Canva Pro has 50, 55, 60 dollars. We are halfway to our annual payment amount, which is due in September, so that's good. Taxes. Let me explain like my taxes. So I have an Etsy taxes envelope, which I'm not using anymore. This taxes was for YouTube, but I don't know honestly why I separated them since like when I do my when I did my taxes, like it's all going in the same place. 
So I will just have this one. I will take this envelope out because I won't be using it anymore. So I just want to explain, since it's, this video is going to be short anyways, I might as well just like talk about my tax situation, which I mentioned in another video. So basically for taxes, YouTube does not take tax money out of your paychecks. So I had to do that. Etsy does not as well. So I had to do that. So for 2023, I had saved up money in here from YouTube and obviously in my other envelope for Etsy. So I had a total of about $2,118 combined for 2023. Actually not for 2023. It's, it's kind of confusing. So basically when I did my taxes, I did not expect to get like there's this credit for school that I got and they gave me money back. So instead of having to owe a little bit over $2,000, I only had to pay $433, which was great because then I had all this extra money that I didn't have to use because that was from my 2023 paychecks and I only needed 430. So I took, I wrote down the amounts like for 2024 of what my Etsy and YouTube paychecks were let me show you I feel like I'm not explaining this at all okay so like I keep track of like my amounts right here and for 2024 I keep track of like the amounts that I have to pull out for taxes and same with Etsy um, so obviously since we are three months into 2024 I still like needed some money in here so for 2024, I needed $982 for taxes, and I just rounded that up to $1,000. So I put a $1,000 placeholder in here. All of this is in the bank. So this is for 2024 so far. I had like a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars left from 2023 that I did not have to use because I only owed like 400. So I used all of that elsewhere. Um, I kind of like did not save it and I kind of just bought like I bought some new clothes I bought a new pair of shoes I bought a bookshelf for my books I just kind of like did whatever which I'm kind of regretting now but at the same time it's like you only live once you know so this tax money is for 2024 so now I will be combining the envelopes and um, I did stuff where is it right here my personal binder with some of the tax money that I did not have to use. So I put some into spending so that I could get a haircut. I didn't want to put it in my hair envelope because this is for like shampoo and conditioner, which is ex kind of ours is kind of expensive. So I put it in my own spending envelope. And then I, um, tax money to spend in the bank okay I had six ninety five dollars because I already spent some of it so I just kept like this here like a running list of my transactions so yeah I kind of just like bought whatever I wanted which I wish I would have saved some of it but it's okay it was all from like my YouTube and Etsy paychecks anyways it's fine so that's like my tax situation I got back like 260 some dollars I kept that in the bank so that I could put that all towards my Best Buy credit card. So taxes will be getting, I hope that made sense. I feel like it doesn't, but this all happened like a week ago. I just kind of did whatever with it. I didn't film it. So it's kind of like, you know, but this $1,000 is for 2024. I have one envelope. All of the money is going in here for YouTube and Etsy. So I'm putting $150 in here. However, Y'all, this $50 is a star note. What? Like, I was going through all my cash after I went to the bank to look for star notes, and I could not believe I found a $50 bill that's a star note. This is going in my taxes envelope. I was like, oh my gosh, $50, that's a lot. Like, I can't, like, right now especially, I can't afford to just save $50 and put it in my star note envelope just because I want to collect this. But I'm going to anyway because... I have, this is so crazy to me, from 
my tax money that I did not spend. I had $50 that I just didn't know what to do with. So I put it in here. This is my own personal binder. I have all of my like own envelopes. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just put it in there. This is not a star note, so you know what? I did want to go spend this, but I'm just going to put it in my tax envelope so that this star note I can collect. So that worked out perfectly. Okay, so taxes has 1000 in the bank and 150 in cash. All right, that is it for this binder. I have no idea where this $5 goes. I made this mistake last time, but I figured it out um, on what envelope it had to go to. So we'll see. So this $50 is going to go into my star note envelope, which I have in this binder. I have like all of my savings challenges and stuff in here. This is so exciting. I can't believe I found a $50 star note the the highest denomination i have found is a 20 dollar bill this 100 my mom got me for christmas this 50 my mom got me for christmas she like finished my whole collection i had ones fives tens twenties or something like that and i just didn't have like these ones so she gave them to me for christmas i don't know how she found them but that's crazy so these are all of my star notes I love collecting this like these it's so fun every time I'm watching a cash stuffing video I'm literally looking at their bills to see if it's a star note and if it is I like make sure I comment because I don't know if you want to collect them you might have missed it so I have $50 to add here Now we have 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 285, which is crazy that I just have $285 laying around here just for star notes because I want to collect them. Like I could totally spend this money, but I don't know. I, I don't really want to. So if you collect star notes too, let me know. And also let me know which bills like you still need to find because I'm I'm just curious okay so that is going in there I literally don't know where this five dollars is supposed to go but that's all right I'll figure that out later so that is the end of this cash stuffing video I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video